Let's express the decimal 0 0.6 as a fraction. We have our numerator over the denominator. The first thing we do is let's put 0 0.6 over 1. We're just dividing by 1, so we haven't changed the value, but now it's starting to look like a fraction. 0 0.6, we have one decimal place here. So with one decimal place, let's multiply that by 10. 10 times 0 0.6, that gives us 6, and that's a whole number. So we're getting close. But 6, that's not equal to 0 0.6. We also have to multiply the bottom here by 10. Think of it this way, 10 divided by 10, that's just 1. So again, we're not changing the value, just the way it's written. 10 times 1 is 10. Now we have a fraction. We can reduce this further. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 goes into 10 5 times. So the simplest form is 3 fifths. So 0 0.6, the decimal as a fraction, it's the same as 3 fifths. If you divide 3 by 5, you'll get 0 0.6. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.